Investing is all about risk. It's all about being able to accurately calculate the risk, meaning what is the downside? What's the worst case scenario? What does that mean financially? And can you withstand the loss if things do not work out as you've calculated? So a lot of times success or failure in an investment is the ability to correctly and accurately estimate the risk involved and the potential downside. And when a deal does not work out, you wanna make sure that whatever it is that you could lose, you can afford to lose it. So you don't wanna make an investment more than you can afford to lose or absorb in your company, in your real estate portfolio, whatever it is. So if you've got multiple properties, multiple assets in your portfolio, and you calculate the risk and the downside of a property or a project, and it goes south, you want to make sure the overall portfolio return profile can absorb the downside of that investment. Now, of course, you can't cross over and commingle, but you do have profit from each asset coming in, hopefully to offset any losses from the others. So everything is separate. Everything's in its own entity. So one does not affect the whole, but at the same time, you do have income coming in off all the properties going into an operating account after all expenses and distributions are paid so that you can weather and absorb any losses if you potentially have a loss hopefully you won't but that is how you protect the downside that's how you protect your portfolio that's how you protect your company your investments is to accurately calculate the downside and if you do lose as long as you're within that calculation then you have actually succeeded and you could call that a win